Jodhpur, a city where romance begins. You fall in love with the beautiful palaces, magnificent forts and lush green gardens. But what makes it truly unique are the people, their hospitality and warmth. We spent a day here and experienced so much in a short time. This is how it all began. Good morning and welcome to Munch and Miles from the blue city, which is Jodhpur. So that what you can see right in the background, that's the Mehrangad Fort. Today we have an interesting itinerary. We are going to cover a few places in Jodhpur for you. One being the Kailana Lake. Just one tala, Mehrangad Fort, which is right at the backdrop. We are also going to try some interesting cuisine, which is local to Jodhpur. Today we are going to do this complete vlog on a motorcycle. Yes, because it's easier to navigate on a motorcycle here and we decided let's do it on a bike this time. Alright, so catch you all soon. Catch you all soon. Watch the video till the end. It's going to be really amazing. Uh, this is our first stop, which is the clock tower in the old Jodhpur city. It's also known as Gandagar. This is where the entrance to the old city is as well. You come from the first gate, you get the Gandagar, and then you go on to, you know, the second gate. This is Sri Mishri Lal Patel. It's very famous for their lassi and pedas. It's one of the most famous in Jodhpur and one of the oldest as well. Wow. Oh. It's got this thick malai on top. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's awesome. Nothing like lassi for breakfast. Oh, it's so delicious. And we have the very famous Sai Samosa. And uh, they've got some brilliant samosas and awesome kachoris. So they are the most reputed place in Jodhpur for their samosas and kachoris. And kachoris and samosas are a really big deal in Jodhpur. Alright, so let's see what Anjali has to say. Anjali, how do you find that? We tried the mirchi bhajia. Yeah. It's amazing. Those are big mirchis. It's filled with potato stuffing. Yeah. I'm almost finishing it. Yeah, breakfast of champions. <laughs> Narrow lanes and by lanes of Jodhpur, we are now here to Jatran. Hello. We are now at Jaswantara Palace. So Jaswantara Palace has an interesting history. It was built for the royal family by the Maharajas. So it acts as a crematorium basically for them. It's a palace. And what a palace it is. We are going to take you there, give you an entire tour of this place. But from where it's located, there is a full city view. Check that out. This is the whole city view, the Merangar fort in the background. Out in the distance, you have the Umayyad Bhavan and the wall as well that you can see. That's a great Jodhpur wall. And now from here, we're going to head in. This is beautiful pond that's right at Jaswantara. It's towards the left hand side of it. As you enter, you can see it. And you've got a lot, lot of lovely birds over here, a lot of migratory birds which come here. So let's have a look at this, alright? The location is phenomenal. Oh yeah, it's, it's really, really beautiful. beautiful. It's beautiful. As Antilia has already informed you all earlier, it, this is supposed to be really very uh, sacred ground for the royals. Marble. It's marble and it's amazing, isn't it? I mean, 
political structure alone remembers royalty. It's difficult to carve this on a marble, but it's really, really amazing. And this kind of intricate work is really difficult for people to do even in the newer age. These guys have constructed all these things right in the olden times. So imagine the amount of skilled labor available at that time, which has been phenomenal for so many centuries. Tada, and now we are headed to the fort. We are going to show you the fort from outside because we already have some amazing drone shots for you. And well, if you are here from Jaswant Tada, the fort is not very far away. So do make a visit. The excursion of this fort would take you approximately maybe two hours minimum. It's got a lot of really interesting fun facts and things about the history like of Jodhpur. It's like a museum. It's got everything. They've got cannons up there. They've got uh, whatever artillery they've used in the previous wars when the kings were ruling this region. And all the history of this place, which is really phenomenal and really interesting. Unfortunately, today we do not have the time to really go there. But uh, we would definitely wish you all to come and have a look at it for yourselves. Well, the weather is really hot, so we just stopped by to get some coconut water. Wow, and that feels so refreshing, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. We needed a break. This is watching heat. <laughs> look at Anjali detailing the coconut. <laughs> nice and sweet. Now we are at the very famous Ramesh Chand Chhatrabhuj Gulab Jamun guy. So he's got some really, really awesome Gulab Jamuns. Wow, these are yellow. They're not like the regular Gulab Jamuns, they're more yellow. And these are Mawa Gulab Jamuns. Yeah. So let's try and see how it is, all right? They're buttery, melting in your mouth. Wow, these are freaking awesome. Damn, they're just perfect. They're not too sweet. They hit the right spot. This is delicious. Okay, thank you. I think that that one is mine. Hello? I'm sorry. Really? You're supposed... What happened to this share and care? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a very great Gulab Jamun fan, but I think I can eat like four or five of these easy. These small ones here are the gulab jamun ki sabji ki gulab jamun. These are not sweet at all. So this is the one that they used to make the gulab jamun ki sabji. Wow, but these are delicious as well and zero sweet. So we've come to this place called as Stepwell. And it's called Stepwell because it has these steps going down all the way till the till the well. There are cafes all around the place. So if you want to enjoy your coffee, then you can definitely go in there. It's called the Steppel Cafe. Evenings are superb here. So you can just sit down and chill like this and watch the view. That's the Turji Kachialra. You got a lot of guys jumping from the wall. You're having a great time. Going towards Kelana Lake. Secluded from the city. We have 
come to Kelana Lake. It's really a lovely location. It's approximately eight to nine kilometers from old Jodhpur city. And uh, it's a beautiful location. We are going to pick a nice, lovely spot on top and have a small picnic. At the same time, we'll try and get you a lovely drone shot of this complete place. Great view with some snacks which Antli has managed to get from Sai Samosa again. And so what we're we gonna be having is So this is the street snack. Uh, that's street snack. So oh we've got some amazing samosas. Mm. In the morning we got to try only the bhajiyas which was a mechi bajia but this time we are hungry again so with the beautiful backdrop that we have we are going to enjoy our kachori and samosas and of course this is i think the chole chaat good oh yeah it's fantastic wow with that view look at the size of this kachori <laughs> it's a nearly the size of my palm <laughs> Mmm. Very good. Had a lovely bite at this beautiful location. It was really awesome watching the sunset and a perfect way to end the day. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. We would really appreciate if you can share this vlog with your friends and family. Goodbye from Magic Miles for Bye. today. See you soon tomorrow. Yeah, there. Two beers. So cool. I don't know if you guys can see them right in front. Hold on. One more. They're both looking at us. Yeah, they're both looking at us. And they're massive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool.